Yo, what's going on guys? So as you all know, I put out a new series called Putting Y'all On where basically you guys send in your music, I listen to it beforehand and then if it's good enough to be put onto a video, I basically make like an expose video just about you and all that. Uh, but I'm going to be doing a special rendition or a special edition of Putting Y'all On because you guys got me to 1,000 subscribers and I could not be more appreciative. I started off in April with 64 subs. And now, look how far we've come in this short period of time, and that's all because of you guys. Thank you all so much. Basically, I'm going to be making a special edition version or whatever of putting y'all on for 1K. And you guys send me your links, send me a bunch of music, and in this video, I'm going to be reacting to and reviewing a bunch of you guys' music. So... Don't send me like a whole project because I'm not going to be able to get to all of it. I'm going to be able to get to like one or two songs from every person. But it's going to be just a giant expose of a bunch of you guys' work. Uh, I'm not going to listen to any of it beforehand so you'll get my 100% authentic, real-time reaction. Yeah, thank you all again so much for 1000. I really am appreciative. We're going to be able to monetize the channel now. You guys are everything to me. Send me your links. Let's do this for you guys. Alright? Thanks, fam. Haters up, feel like Kobe Bryant. Bring on every finger, feel like Kobe Bryant. I'll be selling out of arenas, feel like Kobe Bryant. All time great, I feel like. Kobe so today we're gonna be reacting to No Name's new album. I think it's called Room 25. I'm still pulling it up on Spotify, but I'm pretty sure that's the name. Yeah, Room 25. It's 11 tracks long, which I think is perfect what i'm expecting from this track is really solid lyricism from no name because i love her as a writer uh, i love her voice i love the, her presence on a track i love the energy that she brings and i'm just expecting 11 11 tracks that have a really great vibe to it this project is just going to be really chill uh, and i'm just going to vibe to it i'm going to enjoy it along with you guys so thank you all for clicking to watch the video i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do end up enjoying the video drop a like make sure you subscribe if you have not we would love to have you as part of the channel our goal now is to hit 2,000 subscribers uh, and it feels really good to be able to say that thank you all again so much for 1k again I really really appreciate it we're gonna jump right into it track one is self and uh, yeah let's get it no name room 25 Already starting off with this really great vibe. Yes. This vibe. Mr. Manly Man, Mr. Everyday, he got me, Mr. Wipe Me Down, Mr. Mila, Mr. Miyagi. My pussy wrote a thesis on colonialism and conversation with <laughs> my original system of love with Jesus. Alright, yo, I mean, short track, short intro, two really solid verses. I think it's great. I think she's showing us that she can flow, that she can write, that she can, you know, really rap. Uh, all, all at the same time, opening up the project showing us what type of vibe we're about to get with this project. I think the production is incredible. I love the the piano. The piano is really what gives it that really jazzy feel because everything else is kind of in the background, but uh, it's got a really cool guitar, a really nice bass line. It's really just relaxing. It's a really awesome vibe and I, I love this intro track. I think it's really solid. Uh, next is Black Exploitation. <laughs> Again, another really short track, but this is just crazy. I mean, the production on this is so... I want to say energetic, because it's, it's quick. But it's not really energetic. It's just like, yeah, it's fast-paced. Oh, it's so funky. That's really just the, the right word for this. This production is just funky. And then she flows over it so well, you know? Like, riding the bass line extremely, extremely well. Naming the song Black Exploitation is, I mean, super fitting. This track seems like it's got a lot of depth to it, but I just didn't pick up on all of it first listen. I want to listen to this again. Uh, track three is Prayer Song. <laughs> Oh yeah, 
You hear those snare rolls? Oh. If you wanna help me to kiss me for my lady, don't you all my people that's like this one and If you wanna help me to put me inside the cuss for the same. America the gray. It's great for dead and life for me. Apple pies on Sunday morning. Or peace and eating hot pieces. Oh, these drum pockets, man. Behind the back end, you find the crack, bitch. I send myself on the dash with the sports of gun. I ain't seen a toddler in the back after fire with seven shots of him about to give me. He watching me kill his mom. The fly over my house, getting bigger corruption. Turn me on. Can't no pokes rocking up these niggas better than me. And my wife think I look like a man. I that second verse is crazy, dude. Rapping the second verse from the point of a view of a white police officer in a corrupt society who shoots a baby's mother because he sees a cell phone on her dashboard and he swears it's a gun uh, and then showing up on TV looking like a hero because he killed this woman in front of her baby really criticizing America in this track and uh, rightly so you know I mean super valid criticisms and I think it's a great track I think the production and the arrangements and all the pauses like they let, they let the beat breathe a little bit and then she comes back in I think it's incredibly arranged and I really, really enjoy this song. I mean, this is, again, I'm gonna have to listen to all these tracks again and pick up on even more, but from what I'm what I'm hearing right now, what I'm seeing right now, that second verse is probably the hardest verse so far. Next track is Window. I love the strings. Strings always get me. Me so happy now, me so Mississippi, kiss me till I drown. Everybody think they know me, don't nobody really know me. Here with him a little ways from now. Empty. Everything we ever was was empty, empty fucking cuz the song ain't even about you, daddy. Feed that. The song gonna make me go fuck your daddy. The song the reason I'll be clean up for us and I'm like, Eddie, they know me. Don't nobody really know me. Oh my god. That's production, dude. drums is like the 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 percussion and the the strings along with the guitars along with the bass along with just oh oof. The string arrangements are so perfect I got some days like so lonely oh nigga know me me got a tony oh I'm gonna be feeling like I make this bitch I know it's my ego Go off! Yeah, this is so dope. Yo, uh, production-wise, this is top 10 tracks of the year so far. Production-wise, I mean, this is incredibly produced. Honestly, I have no qualms with anything production-wise on this track. Uh, from the lyrics, what I'm getting is, uh, is it's a journey of self-discovery, you know, and uh, not just for her, but for her partner, for this person that she is with. They're not meant to be together, and for him, it's it's empty, and their relationship is empty in all aspects besides physical, and so it doesn't work out. And they're both finding themselves. I think it's a it's. I mean, I like it. That's what I got from it. Track five is Don't Forget About Me. Feel the bounce. What up? The really, really soft keys with those chords, the strings, the really soft guitar riffs, the bass just holding it down, the drums really bouncy. Oh my god, this production. production on this album is so beautiful dude it's so soulful in this track uh, she, she's finding herself she's learning to deal with life struggles by trying a bunch of different things you know she's she's praying right and then she says somebody said it saves lives that's why she's trying it she's praying because she thinks it might save her and then it says 
Nonim almost passed out drinking. She thinks it saves lives. So like she resorted to drinking because she thinks that might save her. And then lower down here it says, uh, Welcome to Vicodin. I took the pills. I think they save lives. So like she's looking for the salvation. She's looking for this way to to deal with the pain, to to have her longevity. To she she's dealing with uh, with moving to Beverly Hills. It looks like and. Uh, but having to pay to look a certain way and having to do all these things and just her life is changing people are dying around her and, and it's, she's like dealing with it and she goes you know I know everybody goes someday uh, but if I have to go I just pray that you won't forget about me you know because I'm looking for the salvation I'm looking for ways to stay alive to to keep going but if I end up going if I end up passing don't forget about me I think it's awesome. Her delivery is just so soft. It's so, it's like, it's so soothing. It's incredible. Uh, track six is Regal. track is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna treat it like an interlude. It kind of felt like that. We got a minute of just production towards the end. Beautiful production, if I might add, but that's becoming the theme of this entire project is just beautiful. Is the, the only word that I can use to like describe this project so far. Next track is Montego Bay. Yeah! Raven Lene is so incredible. Yo, this track is great. Oh, that's my favorite by far. Yo, Raven Lene did not have to go that hard, but she did that for us. Dude, her delivery, the, her voice, and her... Oh. And then No Name comes in rapping way faster than I'm used to hearing her rap. She just kills it on her verse. This track is fantastic. Fantastic. It's about finding love in Jamaica. Montego Bay is a place in Jamaica. It's a popular tourist spot, apparently. But it's like, instead of Bay, it's Bay is in B-A-E. So it's like someone from there who they are in love with. Uh, really fun track. Fantastic production. I love it. Track eight is Ace. Uh, I heard a lot of good things about this track, especially since it's featuring Smino and Saba. So, I'm ready. Let's get it. I love their use of vocals in the production. Whiskey with the team, got it bubbling, I got trees in my luggage, I got teens, I learned it, hope you can't what you say, for it what you say, I'm making runs, I'm yeah. out on track, I'm in this field, I'm shocked, you put me in my field, she, ready, clap, 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 ready, clap, 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 yeah, this vibe is incredible. Breathe, bro! Team not ginger beer, I was my inner ear. Since I left the road, I got more hits than a deer. A dollar in a drink, like I'm Jermaine in a bill. You still yeah. Oh, that was hard. That was hard. That production was so smooth. It was so smooth. I was expecting them to just not go so hard. Why'd they go so hard? Ugh. <laughs> Yo, Saba went off. Saba. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, yo, track nine is part of me. I don't gotta say anything about that track. That's fantastic. Yo. 
Yo, uh, the snare being a little bit early adds this really crazy bounce to this track, but I'm not sure that I'm liking it. I'm not sure whether it's the snare that's early or whether it's the hi-hat that's coming a little late after the snare instead of on top of it. Um, but whatever it is, is adding bounce, I, so I understand why it's there. I'm just not sure whether it's, for me, that amount of delay. Although it does sound a little better with the actual words and the lyrics over the track, but we'll see how, how it goes. Riddle me this. Mama Lisa, piece of pepperoni, smiling all the Sony speakers, getting a fit, often off of the shit. It's a dope track. Uh, I ended up enjoying the production. I like the vibe that the whole track has to it. Uh, I think it's again another track about self-discovery and, and trying trying not to pretend to be someone that you're not and focusing on trying to be who you really really are in the midst of all the chaos that life brings. I think it's a really cool track. It's not my favorite. It took me a little bit to get into it, but I did get into it. I think it's a nice track. Track 10 is with you. I'm obsessed with their use of guitars in this album. I mean... This is my happy ever suicide. My hands tied behind my breast, my silhouette to appear once the curtains are closing. My baby was my own, be my own, one my own. I love the vocals. I'm a home away from home and I promise you'll keep the secret. I promise you won't forget me. You'll tell you that smells like peaches. So leaves us on love as a land trains. I left it for London. Uh, I think this is a really honest track. I think that. She's opening herself up a lot on this project, you know, she's trying to tell us more about her and who she is and her journey on, on her discovery of herself. Sharing this really intimate stuff with us. And so this track really just feels honest, it really feels genuine. Uh, the production is so smooth, it's so soulful. It's touching really, you know, it's just really cool. Uh, nas the last track, Nast track. The last track is No Name. Yo, we've gotten like a minute and 15 now of just solid production and it's really emotional, it's really soothing and it's great for, you know, for just when you're playing this album through and listening to it late at night or whatever, whenever you're listening to it, it really puts you into the mood. But for right now, for a first reaction where I've got to make this video and I've got to hear, hear the track, I think that this is a little long uh, for an intro to this this song, but it's the outro, so, you know. I would have preferred that they put most of the production towards the end instead of the beginning, but that's just me. So she's describing why she chose to go with the name No Name, and uh, I guess she's saying that it's because in, in her journey of self-discovery uh, and finding out who she was, she realized that no name can identify you. No name becomes your your identity. Your identity shouldn't be found in, in a name or in anything like that. And names aren't as important as we make them. Because she says, when we walk into heaven, nobody's name is going to exist. It's just going to be boundless movement for joy. Uh, and so, she's really taking away the importance of a name. You don't have to be identified by this word. You can be you. And so, she wanted to go by no name. That's pretty cool. I'd never thought of it that way. Yo, it's 
just feel good music, man. Honestly, it's just music that makes you happy. I love it so much. I love the soul. I love the emotions in the production. I think my favorite part about this whole album was the production. It, I think that this might be one of the best produced albums this year. Saba's Care For Me is up there. Mac Miller Swimming is up there. Uh, I listened to a lot of really great produced albums this year, man, but this is like something special. Just It just brings out this really awesome feeling of joy. I think it's a great track. I think the project is fantastic. I think it, the project itself is about uh, her self-discovery, like I said, and apparently Room 25 isn't necessarily an address, it's also the age at which she uh, found herself and started realizing who she was. This project takes you on this journey of her, her opinions and her views on the world and on herself and on the people around her and how she deals with all of it. I think it's, it's really well put together. I don't think that it's missing anything. I think she fits so much into 11 tracks. If I had to give it like a score out of 10, which I know I don't really do on this channel, but I, if anybody gives this project less than like an eight or an eight and a half, they're crazy, you know, or they have to listen to it again. Uh, that's what I'm getting off of my first listen. I'm in love with this project, honestly. I can't wait to listen to it again. Uh, definitely listen to this. I'm glad you guys came. I'm glad you guys watched the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Don't forget to send me your music for the special edition video of putting y'all on. I'm gonna be going through a lot of you guys' submissions. I don't know if I'll be able to get to all of them, but I'm gonna try to get to as many as I can. Uh, I'll most likely be making this video either the end of this week, around Saturday, or I might give you guys until Saturday of next week, just to send in as much music as you guys can, so that I can make that video put you guys on to other no, to other new artists, other up and coming artists. Uh, if you need to get in touch with me, my social media is in the description and on screen. Uh, hey, thank you guys again for a thousand subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be back very, very soon. All right, peace.